Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Jane. She was 11 years old. Jane lived with her mom. Her dad left her and her mom when she was very little. She was only two when that happens. Hence, she grew up without a father. Jane was a stubborn girl. She was mostly stubborn towards her mother. She hardly followed instructions. One day, Jane and her mother had just finished having dinner, and Jane was supposed to wash the dishes, but she didn't. She was watching television. When her mother found out, she was very angry and scolded Jane. She yelled at her for being so disrespectful and ungrateful, even after everything she's done for her. That night, she quarreled with her mother, then stormed out of the house. While en route, she remembered that she did not have any more money in her pocket. She didn't even have enough coins to make a phone call home. At the same time, she walked into a noodle shop. Picking up a sweet fragrance, she suddenly felt very hungry. She wished for her bowl of noodles, but she had no money. The seller saw her standing before the counter and asked, Hey, young lady, want to eat a bowl of noodles? But I don't have any money, Jane replied shyly. Okay then, I'll treat you, the seller said. Come in, I will cook you a bowl. A few minutes later, the owner brought her a steaming bowl of noodles. He watched the little girl eat with content. After she took some spoons, Jordan began to cry. What is it, dear? Why are you crying? He asked. Nothing. I'm just touched by your kindness, Jane said as she wiped her tears. A random stranger is giving me a bowl of noodles. And my mother, after a quarrel, she chased me out of the house. She is cruel, Jane said. The seller sighed. Girl, why do you think so? Think again. I only gave you a bowl of noodles and you felt that way. Your mother have raised you since you were little. Why were you not grateful and still you disobeyed your mom? Jane was really surprised by the seller's question. Why did I not think of that? A bowl of noodles from a stranger made me feel indebted, and my mother have raised me since I was little, and I have never felt so, even a little. On the way home, Jane thought in her head what she would say to her mother when she arrived home. Mom, I'm sorry. I know it's my fault. Please forgive me, she thought. Once up the steps, Jane saw her mother worried and tired and looking for her everywhere. Upon seeing Jane, her mother gently said, Jane, come inside, honey. You were probably very hungry. I cooked rice and prepared the meal already. Come eat while it's still hot. Unable to control herself any longer, Jane cried in her mom's arms. In life, we sometimes find it's easy to appreciate the small actions of some people around us. But for the relatives, especially parents, we see their sacrifice as a natural thing. Parental love and concern are the most precious gifts we've been given since birth. We shouldn't be ungrateful. Parents don't expect us to pay them back for nurturing us. But have we ever appreciated or treasured the unconditional sacrifices of our parents? We should try our best to show more appreciation towards our parents and make them know how grateful we are for their love and the care they provide for us since birth. Don't be like Jane. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more from me.